you, are your thinking rooted in religion, meaning traditional Hindu practice, Shivaism, or is it rooted in the practice you mentioned of, of, of yoga, which is of course a practice which is secular but still related to traditional Indian thinking? I mean, how, how will you describe your relationship to Indian traditional thinking and religion? <laughs> See, for me, uh, uh, when people refer to me as a Sadhguru, what they are saying is that I'm an uneducated guru. Because Sadhguru is not a title, it's a description. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to go to your doctor, if you have a dental problem, you go to a dentist. Mm -hmm. If you have some problem with your bone, you go to the orthopedic, you don't go to the wrong person. So when you say a Sadhguru, it's a description that he does not know any scriptures, he does not know any religion, he does not know any dogma or ritual, there's only one thing he knows. He knows this piece of life absolutely from its origin to its ultimate. Mm -hmm. Because I know this piece of life and that's the only thing I know, by inference I seem to know everything else around me <laughs> Because for every human being, you know only what you experience, rest mm -hmm. you don't know, it's just imagination. What else do we know, tell me? Mm -hmm. What you hear, what you smell, what you taste, what you touch, this is the only way you know life. So if you know this piece of life, in its absolute nature, by inference you, you know almost everything that's worth knowing. <laughs>